friends. Hello. Today we're going to talk a little bit about another type of word. We're going to talk about prefixes. So remember that sometimes we start with a word. Let's start with the word lock. Sometimes in work you'll hear that called a root word. I called it a root word in my last lesson actually. However, I've been learning and I learned that more accurate this should actually be a base word. If this word that we're looking at can stand alone, can be a word on its own, like the word lock, then it should more accurately be called a base word. If it's something that can't stand on its own, like for instance, when we say bio, as in biology, that would be a root. Lock can stand on its own, so it's a base word instead of a root. To bring our focus back, prefixes are what happens when you take a wee bit of extra information, a couple extra letters, and you stick them in front of your base or root word. If we look at the word prefix, it actually has a prefix in it. This part right here, pre, is a prefix. It means before. So a prefix is a piece of that comes before the rest of its the word. So if we look at the word lock, our base, and we put the prefix un in front of it, think about that. If I say, please go lock the door, then if I say, please go unlock the door, then it would be able to swing open. How about if I say, re-lock the door? That would mean to go back to it and lock it again. The prefix re means to do again. The prefix un means to take away the thing that has already happened. It means like do the opposite of. What about this? Some people have this type of thing on their house or their car where it auto locks. The prefix auto means like happens on its own does it without help. So an auto lock would lock without your help. There are a lot of prefixes in the English language and some of them are really helpful when you get into hard science in your middle and high school and maybe college life because they can help you figure out what's going on. We can look at it even with our work right now. So look at, let's look at that root bio. When we talk about biology, we're going to switch colors because this is a suffix instead. Biology. Suffix means at the end. Bio is our root. We know that means life. Ology means the study of. So bio and ology. Biology means the study of life. Geo means the planet or earth. And if we say geology, then that means the study of the planet or Earth. That's using suffixes, but you can do the exact same thing using prefixes. If I say that we have a, let me get a really good one. If I try the word, how about identify? put some prefixes on that. I'm going to write it a couple times. While I'm writing it, go ahead and think. Identify. If you can think of any prefixes that I could put on top of the word identify to change its meaning a little bit. All right, let's see if we can find three together. So identify is going to be a base word rather than a root because identify is a word all on its own. So let's think about some prefixes. What could I put in front of the word identify to change its meaning? To identify something means to figure out what it is. What if something is unidentified? Un means not. So an unidentified thing would be something that you cannot figure out what it is. All right, let's think of some others. Unidentify. How about, let's say you go for a walk and you find a plant and you think, oh, this is a Douglas fir. But when you bring it into the classroom, I say, 
I think you might want to get out the book and try to re-identify that plant. I think it might be something different than what you're thinking. Re means to do again. Re-identify would mean to identify over again. Unidentify, re-identify. How about when you walked in with that plant and said, I'm pretty sure this is a Douglas fir. If I knew it wasn't, I might say, I believe you have misidentified that plant. The prefix miss means wrongly. So to misidentify something would be to wrongly identify it. Check this out. What if you hadn't heard the word misidentify before? Maybe you haven't, but you know what identify means. And if you'd practiced working with prefixes, you might know that the prefix miss means like a mistake. Interesting. Do you hear how it's in the word mistake also? I wonder if that's a coincidence or if that's how the words were made. When you follow up on this, maybe you'd like to pick a couple words and put some prefixes in front of them yourself. If you're feeling like you know you've done some basic prefix lessons before, maybe you'd like to challenge yourself. Maybe you want to get into this thing that I just learned properly today of what counts as a base word and what counts as a root. Remember, a base means it can stand alone, and a root word is not its word a word unless it has help. Bio is not a word on its own. It means extra stuff. Maybe you'd like to click down in the description section where I posted a list of some of the very most common prefixes that you're going to encounter as you get older in science and things like that. Maybe you want to read those and learn a few. However you choose to follow up, find something to do. And if you're feeling like this is really new to you, maybe just take a couple words like I did and see about some simple prefixes you can stick in front of them. Whatever you do, have a good day, do good work, and know that I miss you. Bye.